things I do for money. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to TechBeans. And today I got here the Oppo F11 Pro. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Where's the box? Well, I'll be doing the full unboxing video and review in a few days. But right now, I'm just here to do my first impressions of the unit because I'm so excited to like tell you guys what this thing does, what its features are, and yeah, what it brings to the table. Is it actually worth taking a look at? So the Oppo F11 Pro is probably the best, most premium looking mid-range phone I have ever seen today. It certainly looks like a sports car, much like a Lamborghini, but that is actually plastic right there. It looks like glass. So that my friends is a gradient color back. There's purple and blue, but in the middle, it actually looks black. And right here's the logo, designed by Oppo, fingerprint scanner, and of course the 48 megapixel dual cameras. This color is called Thunder Black. If you don't like this, there's actually a lighter one called Aurora Green. So yeah, it's pretty nice to have other color options. Damn, that's actually heavy. Maybe it's because of that 4,000 milliampers of battery. That's the first time that Oppo has put that kind of caliber of battery in their phones. Whoa. It's actually much more improved over the Oppo F9, which had a very small battery life. Well, this also has fast charging. Actually, it has the newest VOOC 3.0 flash charging technology. So yeah, I'm super excited to show you the actual charging speed in my full unboxing and review video. Now, what makes the Oppo F11 Pro stand out from the crowd is that it has a full screen notchless display. That, my friends, is a 6.5 inch no-notch display. Of course, it's 1080p, but the thing is, it's only a TFT display. But yeah, if they went for TFT, I'm guessing that the pricing is pretty low on this. So yeah, look at that. Almost edge to edge, almost no bezels at all. The display makes you feel like you're only holding a screen rather than a phone. Damn, playing games on this looks so nice. No black bars. It's a breath of fresh air if you're coming from a phone that has a notch. And yeah, finally the camera. We have here two cameras actually, one 48 megapixel and one 5 megapixel bokeh camera. It's a big upgrade from the F9, which is awesome. Oppo even upgraded its tagline from selfie expert to brilliant portrait. I just think that they're really confident in the camera's ultra clear images and low light capabilities. It has lesser noise and provides better dynamic range as you're able to see more details in the dark now. It's something that I'm excited to review further. Also, check this out. Boom. Pop-up camera. That is 16 megapixel pop-up camera on the Oppo F11 Pro. So this thing pops out when you go to selfie mode. But yeah, the selfies on this is pretty good. But yeah, knowing Oppo, they are very good at selfies. They may be moving to brilliant portrait now, but yeah, I still think they are the selfie expert. So far, the Oppo F11 Pro looks to be very promising. I'm gonna be having a full review and unboxing soon. And of course, I'm dancing and singing. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.